Hello world and grace to you. I wanted to make a quick video on my uh, Action 4 and the boiling mic. So I recently, as you guys know, I've made a video like this. And if you haven't seen my sort of review on this, go watch it. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go see it. But I could not get this to work properly with uh, Action 4 because when you open the USB, the door gets in the way. So I couldn't seem to get the mic to work but I learned from a person uh, who I, I don't know their name but they left a comment and so I'm gonna you know on that comment give them a link to this video as well since I learned how to remove the door but I will say I do not like the way the door seems to be functioning since I have removed it but basically you need to uh, all right we're gonna go here we're gonna pull on the door as we normally would pull it here all right we're gonna get it to this point I wanna see what this hand the guy the video I seen the guy basically put his thumb underneath here, pulled his finger like this. He's not pressing the button and just sort of uh, pulled sort of up and away. Now, when we put it back, and I'm not going to do that yet, but when we put it back, we're going to come in at a higher angle. And then basically, we're going to sort of press it into place and let it fall down. What you want to make sure is, though, th there is a hinge on this. I'm trying to not get my face in the shot, and it's not working. There is a hinge that sort of moves back and forth on this right here and that's what this button uh, activates so you want to make sure you, you leave this uh, extended if you close it you're not gonna be able to put the door back on so you're gonna have to press the button and then you're gonna have to um, sort of work with both hands or even one hand if you're strong enough and get it to open this is how we want it to stay open but what we're going to do is right now because I did try to see if I could just use the 3.5 millimeter jack that comes with the Boyle link uh, microphone but that did not work as I thought so this was money down the drain so don't try this take the door off as I did just remember that it's no longer waterproof so please do not take this in the water um, and do not lose this door you can't just uh, in the video I seen you can't just put any door but you guys ain't here for that. You guys are here for the boil link and see see if we can get it to work with this. So let's uh, open up. All right. We're going to pull out a mic. We're going to pull out this and we're going to change out the 3.5 adapter for the USB-C adapter. And now hopefully it should function properly. There will be a downgrade in audio soon. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Because this mic, I mean, of course the audio is going to be good in this mic. This is an expensive mic. I think this microphone was five or six hundred dollars. Although I was gifted it, I did not buy it. A friend of mine gave it to me. He said he did not need it. And um, it worked out in my favor. And so that's why I use it for my videos. So that's nice. Now, um, problem is with this now, if you want to lay it flat, obviously you can't. You're definitely going to want to um, put this on the little selfie stick. Pop it on the selfie stick. And so that's the idea. Maybe, maybe I'm going to turn the boil link around though. Ah, will it fit that way? Now <laughs> this gets in the way. So I guess we'll leave it the other way because it kind of fits perfectly. And uh, like I said, we're going to take the, the mic as we got it. We're going to just press record. All right, so the camera sees me right now. And uh, I'm talking in the mic. It looks, oh, I, I see it now. It is working. So if you guys see on the screen, if it'll focus. Why isn't it focusing? What, a, what is it? What are you seeing here? What are you seeing here? In either case, there's a little microphone right there that is moving as I'm talking. So I have the mic really close. Let me wear it on my shirt. Put it on my shirt, picking up. And so if I back away from this mic, as you guys are seeing on the big camera, right? I mean, if we switch to that audio right now, that's what I sound like. And if we switch to the audio that we're using on the GoPro, you guys can see me now and see where I'm at. And I'm closer to the bokeh balls, the bokeh balls, right? <laughs> but you should be able to hear me uh, just fine. Now I can use that video with this audio. Now there, like I said, it probably won't be as good audio as the microphone that is in front of the S5 II. But I digress. I mean, it's a wireless mic for cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money for it. And I think that that's what makes it so good. Is that for, and I could stop recording with this. So for roughly about $100, you get this whole Boya Link system that comes with two wireless mics. As you can see, it goes in magnetically. Now these uh, won't, won't stick, but 
it sticks in the case magnetically. It also charges through the case through USB-C. So even if you somehow lose the cord that it came with, you can use any USB-C cord and charger to um, get this to charge up. And again, you, so you get these mics, you get adapters. Again, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just think for a hundred bucks, it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good setup. There's really not too much to complain on other than that the audio probably could have been a little bit better, especially for a guy like me who don't know how to work audio. I I mean, whatever is coming out of the camera, that's what I go with. I don't really edit it other than maybe just raising the volume or lowering the volume. I don't know how to EQ it or anything like that. But yeah, I, I hope that that video was good on this. Now, if you guys want to know how to put the door back on, that's something I could try to show you guys right now. So like I said, I did it earlier. I'm going to try to do it again. I, I just wish that it wasn't the way it is. I think that they should have made another button to remove the door in this way because I do think that this... Uh, door will wear out and I wonder if these are like, like, like can I buy this door if it breaks is this accessible to me what happens if I break this hinge which is very tiny and very you know it's very thin plastic what happens if it breaks my action camera will no longer be waterproof which is terrible <laughs> I mean uh, one of the reasons why I want it is so that when I go on any you know if I go to a, a theme park and I want to go on one of the, the water rides I don't have to be afraid or if I go to the pool, you know, with the family for a family day out. I don't want to worry about that. I want to be able to take it in the pool and have fun with it. So um, this definitely could be a problem. If you guys are afraid of that, I don't recommend you guys doing it. But for those of you who want to know how to put the door back, so you're going to take this again, right? You're going to take it in your hands. Ah, I'm trying to cover my face as I do this, guys. I'm going to take the door and you're going to line it up with the hinge on this side and you're going to be a little bit higher and you're going to sort of like uh, put a little pressure. You're going to feel it lock into place. It's going to even out. Kind of let it fall. Ah, doesn't really line up, like I said, as good. But it does close back to normal. It doesn't feel as good as it did. It feels like it's, like, messed up a little bit now. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's not. It does seem to be sealed pretty good to my eye. But, you know, it's still, you press the button and you could slide it. You can lift it up. But it does have a little bit more resistance than I would like it to have now. It seems like the resistance has changed. And so that's what I'm afraid of, that it can be damaged. So I don't know how often I'm going to actually connect the boiling mic to the action camera. But it's nice to know at least I have the option. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and content. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, God bless and may grace be with you.